viewers, hello, welcome back to the AFC Wimbledon save. Yes, it is still carrying on. I'm sorry there haven't been more episodes. I'm just trying to find my creative spark a little bit. And I've been getting involved in another football manager save at the moment. Um, and, you know, this is still with me, though. I'm still very much a part of this. It's just been taken... I've been getting distracted, viewers, is the honest answer. But this week, we're going to have four episodes of the AFC Wimbledon save coming at your faces, uh, starting today, tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, and maybe some over the weekend as well. I'm getting back into the rhythm of uploading videos this week, starting today then. Now, I've not met for a little while. Uh, the last time we met was the South End game, which was a 1-1. That was last episode, and let's cycle forward a little bit. We've gone through all of November, uh, a little bit of uh, the end of October, and the start of December, and you can see that things have been uh, pretty... Mm, oh, we've been in the FA Cup, we've been out of the FA Cup, and we've played two FA Cup matches, so it's not going great. Coventry not to out of that. Defeat in the Czech Trophy as well. That's not gone particularly well, which is probably a blessing in disguise. And uh, league form has been a little bit indifferent. Like I say, since that South End game, uh, three losses in it. So two losses in the league and a hat full of draws as well. As well as a recent win though against Notts County. 3-2 to get us back on track a little bit, hopefully. Uh, and I'm starting today then with Bolton, who are second in the league table. And this won't be easy. And the system is, is finally a place where I'm kind of happy with it. Problem is, viewers, I thought this team were going to be really good this year, and well, they're not. So, live and you learn. But we're building a project. That's the important thing. Now, the good news for us, though, of course, is that Joe Piggott, with 12 goals this season, is scoring goals. So that's important. You need to have, you need to make sure that your striker is at least scoring. Uh, actually, just make a quick change on the bench. Wagstaff's going to have to step out for this one as Antuna comes onto the uh, the right side of midfield. And this is the system we're playing. We've talked about it last time as well, with Grimes dictating from the centre of the pitch, not in a way that is affecting other human beings, apart from if they're on that same football pitch. You get what I'm saying here, folks. Grimes is in the middle of the pitch. Uh, Curtis Jones and Buendia will be behind Piggott. And these three, this triangulation is uh, is what dreams are made of. Barcher on the left for this one, and Tuna on the right. Um, Pinnock is injured for this one. Pinnock and Pickett, it's very confusing for everyone. One more will be at the back with Sweeney, Alfie Jones and Civic, and Slocum will be in goal today too. The question is, viewers, if we can beat Bolton, maybe, just maybe, there's a little taste of the playoffs coming our way. If not, this save is... is I, don't, I don't want to describe it as dull, but... We have, to, we have to be honest with each other. This save could be five seasons of me being in League One. That's the fear. Right, we're, we're playing Bolton today, who I notice have got Jacob Butterfield, uh, Sami Amiobi, and Ibrahim Afalai, who you may well know, viewers, has played for Barcelona, PSV, Olympiacos, Schalke, recently Stoke, unsuccessfully really, and is now playing for Bolton. Right. He can't run anymore, and he's probably still quite injury prone, but that was a shock to my system. Actually, looking at their side, I can now see why they're quite high up in the league table. Mm, I'm a bit concerned about Matt Grimes here. But look, you can't say I don't take the hard route. You know, I, I don't I don't want to accept the easy way out here. We're going for the toughest game possible in recent times against Bolton. Scunthorpe to come later on. They're slightly easier. The team talk's gone marvellously well. The question is then, can the boys uh, have a little bit of an upset? I say, beat Notts County recently, who are of a similar position to us. Too many draws this season. That's been the problem. Games in which we should be converting into wins have all been draws, as we now see what Bolton are capable of. Bolton, that team from years ago that I used to absolutely love. I don't know if people have seen the 2003 4 day base as they hit the post that's been put out um but the bolton side from them was like oh it was it was quite joyous kevin nolan like a, a young primed kevin nolan i mean what dreams are made of jj kocha was in that team I, I quite like bolton back then not so much right now all right we're gonna see if we can work it from the back which is a bold thing to do um when you've got not too many technical players one of those is though i say not too many technical players the middle of the the, the middle three grimes jones and wendy is very technical as jones actually using his pace here pick it with a shot across the keeper <laughs> <laughs> I've sort of undersold that with that laugh. I feel like I've made it not as impressive. Regardless, though, it's a 1-0 lead against Bolton. And Curtis Jones, what a run this is. My word, he takes on players like they're not even there. He pulls it back to Piggott, whose first time finish is 13th of the season. What, what a goal. Away from home. I mean, they've had to make a change as well. Barfield's got off injured. Everything's looking good for us here. Coming off the back of a win, confidence clearly high in the AFC Wimbledon camp. It's half an hour gone, looking good. I think by the end of the week as well, I'm going to look to try and maybe complete this season so we can progress forward to another season and then start a fresh week with that. So we'll, well, these videos won't be quite as close together in terms of the time frame, but it but does mean we get a little bit more progression throughout the save. I'm also considering doing another little sort of little mini series. Uh, I'll talk about that at the end as well as what I've been doing while I've not been uploading videos. AFC Wimbledon one then, Bolton nil. Good. Right, passionate. He said, I'm happy with the performance so far. Keep it up. 
I am happy and I am passionate. I'm a little bit shocked that we're winning, to be honest. They're second. Well, they were second. Fleet would have leapfrogged them. They're going for an automatic promotion spot. And, well, we are just... We're surviving, viewers. And I think that's key. Here they go now. They've got they've had a throw in and now they're in they're under all sorts of pressure. The press here, this is this is constant, this is never ending. I mean, what is happening? Okay, he finally went backwards. There was just constant pressure on the on the back of him, not letting him go anywhere as it falls to Grimes, and now maybe another chance for us. You never know. Jones and Buendia, very, very creative. That, that, they're sort of the two really we rely on, as well as Grimes to say that triangle. We've got three triangles, or two triangles really. The one up top between the two midfielders playing just behind Pickett, then of course the same two midfielders playing in front of Grimes, and that's where everything really is set to meet as uh, Brendia has got it if you can look for a ball maybe in behind he takes it himself instead plays into, into Bartram gets it back off Bartram and now the triangle here we go Grimes maybe into Jones oh, I'd love to see it over towards Piggott for two. Oh, he scored again I shouldn't be so shocked I should be proud oh yes 2-0 there's a little superb team goal that says at the bottom there who's who's to argue well, viewers, you've not seen this team and me for a little while on the old YouTubes, but I'll tell you what, this has been very impressive. I mean, unbelievable stuff. I've, I've compared us to Barcelona previously. That I, Evidence to, to that right there. All right, Grimes for the corner now, and Bolton are at sixes and sevens. Piggott could have had a hat-trick. We're playing this positive out, out, like outfield play, attacking. They're making all sorts of changes. Afolai's struggling for fitness. Who saw that coming? Um, and, I mean, do I even make a change at this point? Everyone's playing superbly well. They've got a corner. Oh, no. I've zoomed out a little bit so we can see the goal headed over. We're fine. We'll go to a slightly more balanced approach. And as the game continues, we'll go to cautious and then defensive. Um, I've been learning the game a lot in the last sort of two weeks. Uh, more so than I have for a little while. I'm falling back in love with it, viewers. At this point, then, we'll go to cautious. Just before we get to, towards the 90. Then defensive. Just sort of knocking it down a tier as we go. I've not even made changes as that's going to bring into the game. Bolton beaten. That's what, I mean, I'd call the video that, but that would spoil it somewhat. Sloka makes a good save. A clean sheet, away from home, 65% possession, 84% pass completion. And, well, well, I never. I'll just clap. That's the best option. That was very good. Very special, lads. Well done, everyone. Well done, everyone. It's a bit shocking, isn't it? It's a bit surprising. Right, Scunthorpe coming up next away from home. If we can beat Bolton, we can beat Notts County, we're damn sure we can beat Scunthorpe. Curtis Jones with two assists. I mean, I'm a little bit... I'm shocked, viewers. That, that I can't. It's obvious, isn't it? I am shocked. What a madness. What an absolute madness. Three players in Team of the Week. <laughs> I, oh, so emotional. Just so, just, I've never been so emotional about that. And Voto's annoyed. Let's just pretend it's not happening. Pretend it's not happening. Don't make eye contact. Do not make eye contact. It's like when someone gets on the bus and you're sitting on the bus and there's a spot next to you. But there's a few spots next to others and you think... If I don't make eye contact, they definitely won't sit next to me. And then they sit next to you and you think, should have made eye contact. That would have freaked them out. They would have sat somewhere else. Ugh. I can't really apply that much to life at the moment, but I wish I could. Don't know why. You're in that awkward situation, aren't you? Where you're like, I really don't want someone to sit next to me and invade my personal space. Equally, I am a polite human. I will, I'll move my leg slightly in towards my body to, to sort of let you know that there is a space here and I'm willing to give it up. But then as soon as they sit somewhere else, you're out there. You're just, you're slumping it. You're loving it. And then you get to look at the person they sit next to and think. And you just see their face like, oh, God, this journey's about to be hell. I don't know why we're doing this. If you also ride the bus, you know. I used to ride the bus a lot. I don't ride the bus anymore. I'm just reminiscing. Just, you know, I used to love the bus. <laughs> what is this? Don't make a video for a week. And then this is what you get. I'm so sorry. Okay, team-wise, I'm going to keep things exactly they were, the way they were. Uh, the only change we could maybe make would be bringing Wagstaff in. But he's not quite recovered uh, from an injury. So we'll leave Antuna out there. Who's actually done a pretty good job. He's physically very good. So we'll keep, we'll keep him out there. The Mexican from Manchester City. And uh, let's see then. I say team remains the same. Buendia, Curtis Jones, Pickett. It's like a diamond. I, should, I kept describing it as triangle. It's just, well, but there are triangles. Triangle there, triangle there, triangle there. Big triangle there. It's triangles. If I were to put this on the Steam Workshop, I would call it triangles. All right, then. Here we go. They're playing a 4-2-3-1 system. Uh, not too many names that I recognise in that side. No. <laughs> There's no Afolai, so I'm I'm giving it up. God, I, I know we're past Bolton now, but Afolai used to be like a free transfer or a transfer listed player that you would sign all the time on Football Manager, and then about three weeks into the contract, realised that you shouldn't be paying him thirty or forty grand a week, and he's injured again. So that used to happen a lot. There'll be there'll be a lot of people with Afolai related stories in which they don't like him just purely because of Football Manager, and then she played way back on Football Manager, and he was amazing, absolutely amazing. Anyway, Scunthorpe, uh, eighteen minutes gone. 
Now, the ball is in our possession here. So, um, I mean, that was a curious pass. Buendia's got it. It says Emmy. Just remember that is Buendia. They, they change it in-game for whatever reason. Curtis Jones, out to Antuna. He's got an option uh, on the overlap as well, but goes himself and shoots just over. He even hit the stanchion, so it must have been close. Now, this is typical me here. If we if we don't win this, it would be so me to, to you know, beat a side like Bolton and then struggle massively against a side like Scunthorpe as we're applying pressure, but no goals quite yet. But possession-wise and pass completion-wise, we're looking good. I'm definitely a possession manager style. Like This year, I thought, manager, that is me. That's what I'm all about. The free kick. Grimes is on it. 25 yards out. He's gone for it. Oh, my word. He's gone for it. And has he gone for it? It's gone in. Matt Grimes, his fourth goal of the season. It looked too far out to me. I thought that it's a foolish decision, my friend. Don't don't be the fool. But he, he made a fool of me. Lovely finish. Great goal. The fans behind the goal go absolutely wild. And for a side like Scunthorpe to have such a massive LCD screen seems like bad financial management. Moving on. Civic, I've noticed, is struggling a touch over there. Uh, Deji could come on and play right back, so we'll keep an eye on that. We could really do with sort of the kitchen, you know, the toilets out as well. Some of the, some of the turnstiles are a bit rusty. Hang on, what's that over there? Why have you bought a, a, a 55 metre TV? I was going to say inch and I knew that was too small, so I just went for the next measurement up. I should have said fit. Oh, I don't know what I should have said. I imagine it's about 100. 80 inches or something. I don't know. I've never measured 180 inches. At that point, you are wasting time doing it in inches. It's a free kick to them. Vokins with it. Shot comes in. Oh, it's Slocum. What a save. All right, half-time team talk, by the way, went well. I was too busy focusing on the facilities, but it did go well. I know what you're thinking. Oh, I hope he's got another boss anecdote. Um, I'll try and think of one. <laughs> I was once on a bus, and the driver got off and went to the toilet for about, I would say, a solid 14 minutes and just left us all on the bus on our own. At some point, I thought, I'll I'll drive this bus. I'll, and then he came back, and I had to get out of his chair. No, but he did actually leave us for about 14 minutes. It was like 15, 14. It was weird. It was really weird. To have the confidence to go, I'm delayed. I'm, forget, forget the schedule of the bus timetable. I'm just going to, we're going to stop here. Anyway, chance for us. As uh, I say chance for us, we've got it on the halfway line. That might have been premature as uh, Buendia. I've not made any changes other than Deji to come on so far. So attacking-wise, we remain exactly the same as we've been all game. Um, and we're keeping the ball very nice. It's just nice to see some possession-based play out of AFC Wimbledon. Grimes, you can see, dictating as always. And Tuna on this right-hand side. I kind of wish he'd go on the outside more. He, t he likes to cut in. Uh, and again, much better than we did last game. We'll go to a cautious style of play. Then more defensively for the final few minutes. But we've got ourselves a free kick. Grimes to put it in. He's not sure shot this time as it's cleared away we have to get there first and we don't we let Barmby get there instead I think that may well be the son of Nick Barmby uh, for 90s football fans happy to be of a service to you more so than that bloody bus driver anyway carrying on they've got the ball at right back Tangent City is where we've been today just anecdote after anecdote as that ball goes over the top and I'm not sure why we're watching this slow things down even more to take our win uh, Healy's going to come off and pick it up front and we'll just we'll make another change what's happening here blimey that when you come back and you see a, a keeper being closed down that's horrible Horrifying. Don't mess this up, for heaven's sake. All right, it goes out to Juanma, who's also got a knock. I didn't even notice that. Um, okay, I thought he just stopped there. and he, he decided that enough's enough. I'm not sure if this is a highlight or because I've made changes. As Bundria races forward, oh, it was a highlight with a goal at the end of it. 2-0, job done. Two wins on the bounce, three wins on the bounce, but two in the episode today. And that's what you look like to see. Uh, we're now six points off Bradford in the playoffs. Maybe this season isn't a, a nothing season. Maybe there's a late playoff charge as we will make the changes indeed. And uh, yeah, this has been a very enjoyable episode for me. It's been a little rambly. I'm not going to lie to you, but I've enjoyed it. It's nice to see you again, viewers, honestly. It's nice to be able to read the comments, you know, see how many people are enjoying the video. It's, it's nice. It's good. So, well, I'm good to be back. Have I said that about 15 times in the last four videos? Sorry about that. Oh, but I get to tell you what I've been doing soon, so that's exciting. As Slocum dribbles it out of his goal, plays it across to Sweeney. We are taking the piss, honestly. I shouldn't... Uh, there it is. It's 2-0. Job done. We're going to win everything. I think we might go invincible from this point onwards, but you never know. Uh, well done, lads. Good win and uh, lovely stuff. Everyone's delighted. Everyone's happy. It's almost gone too well. We play Portsmouth next. I suspect that won't be a win. And then we play Doncaster straight afterwards. It's up and down, isn't it? It's like a yo-yo. But that, viewers, then, is going to wrap things up for uh, today's episode. I think we'll join again around sort of the end of the January period. We'll see if we make any changes. Uh, MK Don's towards the end of that, so that may well be the game that we focus on but we'll have to wait and see uh, of course if you enjoyed today's video of course please do leave a like and if you want to see some more subscribe to the channel as there'll be more videos like this coming every single day at 5 p.m for the rest of the week so get involved and uh, enjoy what you're seeing uh, if you've been wondering where i've been up to or what i've been going on um youtube.com slash dr benji fm is this uh, what i meant to say was twitter uh twitter.com slash dr benji at dr benji on twitter um i've been tweeting out and doing the occasional stream as well for a norwich project i've got going on football manager um so if you want to see more of that i will be streaming tonight actually as it happens around 10 o'clock 
ish. Uh, so if you want to come to twitch.tv slash Dr. Benji around 10 o'clock as this video goes up on the, what is the date today? Let's find out. Uh, the 26th of February. Um, feel free to come over there. I'll probably stream in the future as well, so if you're watching in the future, come back. And the VODs for those, if you missed the stream, are available to watch over there as well. Um, I'm basically taking Norwich from the Championship and we're being financially sensible and trying to build ourselves into a Premier League big dog and I won't tell you any more than that as I may well do a short series on the channel documenting season by season. Um, but if you've enjoyed this, you might enjoy that. We love it, care. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good one. Links to everything in the description. I should say as well, before we go, massive thank you to everyone who supports on Patreon. Uh, without you, I would be fucked. And I've bleeped that, but you know what I've said. Thank you so much for the support recently. I've... It's not... Yeah. If that was too forward, I'm really sorry.